Yeah. Hey there, ladies and gentlemen. Carlos Moreno here from Moreno Boxing TV. I'm your host today, and today we are going to be talking about the jab. Not only are we going to be talking about the jab, I'm going to be demonstrating different types of jab and how you can work, practice your jab, basic jab, on the punch bag using different stances and footwork and movement, okay? Today we're not gonna focus too much on moving in and out. We're not focusing too much on the feet, but it is important to keep in mind how you're moving around the bag. I'm not gonna explore that too much today. I'll leave that for another time. Today we're gonna focus more on the upper body and how you're actually rotating your, your hips and how you're engaging and triggering your core to work to get the power in, in that jab. One thing I would like to say, when you're using the punch bag, um, I, there's a saying, the punch bag always wins. The punch bag is always going to win. You can never defeat the punch bag. It's going to stay there and it's going to take your beatings and punishment. So th the punch bag is probably going to be the hardest opponent that you're going to face when it comes to boxing. Don't give up guys. Give yourself a time limit. One minute, two minutes, three minutes. Work as hard as you can for that duration, for that time. Okay, and, and don't give up when you start feeling tired, when, you st when your arm starts aching, you keep punching. You keep going, all right? So, okay, we're just being interrupted. It's all right. <laughs> so I'm just gonna be showing you guys some, some moves on the jab, yeah? So we're in our boxing stance. As you guys know, go back and watch the other videos if you're not sure about the stance. Um, and we're throwing the jab by rotating the hips, extending the arm, okay? So I'm just gonna start working the jab. So let's start nice and simple with a little warm up. We want 40% of your power and we want to focus on the technique and the breathing. 40% of power, technique, and breathing. So you can do this for like a minute, just to get nice, loose, nice and loose and nice and warmed up. I would advise to do this exercise after you've done a little bit of skipping and your heart rate is a little bit higher, you've stretched a little bit, then you can begin 40%. Once you start feeling nice and loose, we can work for speed now. So let's say you did, um, let's say you did four rounds, four rounds of work, one minute each round of just warm up, 40%. After you've done that, now we're gonna get, increase it to, we're focusing on speed. We're staying at 40% power, but we're increasing speed as fast as you can. Okay, so we're gonna throw a really fast jab. The good thing about working on speed first is that it doesn't drain all of your energy. It's the power that drains your energy. So you can work on speed for a lot longer than you can work on power. So start off working on speed first, save the power for the end when you're getting a bit more tired. So we're here, my boxing stance. Actually, I've got to correct that. If you're working for power, start with the power. If you're working for speed, start with the speed. So right now, we want to work for the speed. We want to get fast, so we're working for the speed. If you work on speed when you're tired, you're not going to be as fast as you could be, so you're not going to break limits. If you work on power when you're tired, again, you're not going to break limits. Sometimes you can, but the idea is, if you want working for power, start with power first. We're working for speed, so I'm going to start with the speed first. As quick as I can, I'm going to shoot the jab using my, my correct technique of rotating the hips and the shoulders, lengthening the arms. Shoot the jab, hit the target, and bring the hand back as, as fast as I can, yeah? So, for a reduce, let's get started. Speed jab. Stay nice and loose and breathing the whole time. Always adjusting your feet to maintain the distance. After you've done this for about one, two minutes, then we work for power, yeah? So I'm gonna rotate the hips and go full power now. We wanna step in with a power jab. So you wanna push those hips, push those hips and extend the arm right into the back. You really wanna punch, try and punch through the punch bag, yeah? Through the bag, so. After you've done that exercise, you can mix it up. You can look for, you can work for technique. You can do, okay, I'm gonna do no power, no speed, just technique. Again, you can work for power, you can work for speed. Um, 
Try different things, try different ways. You can work for endurance. So I have to do 10 minutes of jabbing, regardless how I feel. Um, there's different ways you can work your jab on the punch bag, different ways you can explore the jab. You can jab to the body, jab to the head. Try different things, try combinations, variations on the jab. And I hope you guys enjoy it and keep boxing. Thanks, man. Cheers.